point one black speech you get so again. Well, we'll be on this channel for a while. About faith. And this title is mostly about build up our faith. All the parts that we have today. It's nothing we ever have seen before, right? Many people, many people, many people, mostly are blinded by faith. Many people is blinded from the culture that we are living today. In public, we mean blinded. What it mean? What it mean is, here, here is that form of faith that's come between Jesus and the blind men. Our nation, in public states, what it mean? Take a look at me into Psalm chapter nine. Psalm chapter nine says, "What have?" What happened to Hebrews chapter 11? We're going to take a later detour, but still on the right road, still on the right focus. The idea of faith has a lot to do, right? Have, have a lot to do by people who have faith. You see, um, in Psalm 79, Psalm recruited Jesus as Jesus heals the blind man. But he asked me, Jesus did not exactly heal the blind man. It not just heal the blind man, but give, the bl but give that man faith. He probably says, what are you talking about? Belief in faith means a whole lot. Take a, take a look in Psalm 79. It says here, it says here in 79 verse 1, and, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his bull. And his disciples asked him, saying, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus. Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must walk the works of him that sent me while it, while it is day but now cometh when no man can walk as long as long as I am in the world I am the light of the world. When he, when he had uh, spoken, he spat on the ground, and he and made clay of the of the spit, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said, and. And said unto him, Go, go, was in the pool of Sam, whereas by his present sent he, he went his way through and, and washed and came and came seen the, not, the neighbors. The neighbor's temple, 
and they with before had had seen him that he was blind. Said is not this this he sat sat and begged. Some said thus he this is he. Others said he, he is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore, the, therefore said they unto him, How were the eyes open? He answered and said, Amen. Amen that is called Jesus. Make clay and anointed my eyes. And said unto me, Go to the pool and say him. And washed, and I went, and washed, and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I knew not. I know not. They brought to the Pharisees him that for for time was blind, and it was the sight of day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said, He said unto them, He put clay upon my eyes, and I washed, and do see. The fall, the Therefore said some of the persons, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? If there was a division among them, that's our way there. Just imagine that. Just imagine this man was blind for uh, was blind for his whole entire life. All of a sudden, here is Jesus passed by his way. He's passed by his way. He talked to his disciples and this go on his knees. Spit it to the ground, pick up some dirt, spit it to it, and then went to that man, put something out, put the dirt and spit there, look like clay, upon his eyes, and told him to go to this. Go to the pool. Go to this pool asylum and wash it. This is my defense. You probably think, what's your whole way about this pool asylum? The pool asylum means nothing. It's how it means to wash his eyes. Remove, remove that clay from his eyes. That's all he can do. And all of a sudden, he received sight. You know why he received sight? Because he got faith. That can be done. Because he believed in God. But the thing is, there's others that mock at him. Probably wonder, who is this man and all that stuff? Who can do this? This who can heal this man? But the promise, Jesus healed this man on Saturday. Just watching the defense we have that. The same defense that's going on today. Just watching if Jesus is here before us. And nation will be in a world of panic. All the news channel is focused on Jesus heal a man on the Lord's day. 
Wow, this mouse is that. But see, back then, back then they don't have TV. They don't have news channels. And all they have is where they see. What they think is, the message go wildfire. People start believing in God. All because they have here that this man receives sight. But the thing is, it's not by it's not because of the morgels that this is done, but because many of them hear the message and end up having faith, it's our belief that he is be sent from God. Who is can able to do that? Can the devil can do it? I don't think so. Can one of us can do it? We, we might be tempted, but we couldn't. There's nothing that there's nothing that a human can do to receive this sight. But that's from today. T today, uh, our whole town nation is blind. And now we are leading also also because we said blind. The public says, so what can we do? Just wait here and, and stay blind or should we go to the water? The poor tell you of water's eyes. No. The only one when it points out to us here in scripture. It's not about the poor saying, that's the tool. Because of our sins have lost from our sins. That's what's brought us down. We are so blinded to see our sin that we are blinded from the inside. Let me read on a little bit here. In verse 17, they say, they say unto the blind man again, What say is thou of him? That he have opened thy eyes, he said. Is he a prophet? But the Jews did not believe concerning him, that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that he has received his sight. And they ask them, saying, Is this your son, who you, who he say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them, and said, We know, we know that this is our son and that he was born blind. But by what means now he now seeth, we know not, nor or who have opened his eyes. We know not. He is of age, as him. He shall speak for himself. These words spoke to his parents. Because they feared the Jews, for, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. The four. There. There. Therefore said his parents, He is of age, as king. Then again caught they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he 
whether he be a sinner or no. I know not. One thing and one thing I know that where I was blind, now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he for thee? How opened he the eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and he did not hear. Wherefore would he hear it again? Will he also be his disciples? Then they revealed him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spoke to, Mo uh, to Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from where he is. The men answered and said unto them, Why? Why heareth his marvelous thing that he know not from where he is? And yet he hath opened my eyes. Now, now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be whisperer of God and doth his will, him he heareth, since the word begun, was it not heard? That any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not the, not of God, he couldn't do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He, he answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For such when I am come into this world, that they will see not my see, and that they will see might be made blind. And some, of, and some of the persons which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If, if, he, if he were blind, he should have no sin. But, but now he, he said, We see, therefore, our sin remaineth. So I think that's the end of something that I, I want to point out to you. Here, here right now, this man, I'm talking about the blind men have more faith than the poor seeds. The poor seeds keep on talking to him, trying to figure it out, keep on Asking on the same same questions, and they don't actually believe what happened. Hey, that's off, right? They don't actually be They don't believe that this man is healed. In other words, they are blind to it. To know they are really blind in in themselves. They don't have no faith, they don't have nothing but their own 
the only ones that have is Moses by things and they don't believe. They don't believe in in Jesus. Those are the only ones that appeared to Moses. In the first place, God spoke to Moses the same way he spoke to Mary. Although being kind of a different way because Moses is kind of in a different way, but because God spoke to Moses by God spoke to Moses by fire, by bushes on fire. And God spoke to Mary by an angel. But both made no difference which way we spoke it to. Made no difference which way we spoke it to by God. He's still talking to you. By God. Moses has the law. Moses has the law, but who made the law in the first place? God did. God made the law. Why they can't believe in Jesus? He probably says, well, that's because they think that Jesus is a human. He was sent by God, right? If God can send his only God son, does they believe that what Father Abraham said? They go give a son to Father to Abraham and Sarah and and have a nation of their own? Father Abraham have more faith than than this person had. And it's the same faith that this man that was born blind has received by sight. It's like he can see us, so that he see, he believed. He got faith and he believed on Christ because he able to see the creation and everything that been made with his eyes, where is he never have seen before. He never have seen trees, he never seen buildings, he never seen people. All he could see is nothing. He don't see nothing. And then he ever sees his pass by his way. All of a sudden, after the season spit into the ground, into the ground, spits the trees of dirt, and rubber is on his eyes, tell him to wash it off in the pool. After he spits water on his face, wash his eyes, he re re he receives sight. But not the sight that he received. It's not by the pool, but by when he got his sight here. He had believed on the Son of God. All of a sudden, words coming out of his mouth. That he never had spoke before. He have heard himself speaking. And don't it's just mouth of that. I make a knees to be like this blind man. Now like here we are now blinded. We are blinded because we can see. We can see but we are blind.
this mountain will have been of all of na all of all it will be in all the people in the United States. In a blue sheet of sight. Will we believe in God? If we just lose our lose all our eyesight, will we still able to believe? I don't know it can or not. And some of us was blinded. We are blinded from sin that we receive sight. Because sin has left a crimson stain, and he has washed by his blood. Now it's time for us to show hands with Jesus and travel with God for our part of the family, the family of God. But where it takes, folks? Really? If Jesus can heal his blind man, and he, he got more faith. Did anybody here? How can he? How can we receive our sight? Here we are living in America, a home from home. Here we are living in America, where we should be free, and our forefathers can see, but now we can't see. You know this. You know how to dress with him? Oh, you know how to dress with him? Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, can you see by the dawn's early, early light? Well, now we can see, we can see that. Well, now we can see, we can see the dawn's early light. Because we are too busy. We are too busy in a our entertainment, you're too busy, be sinners, and we sin, and all we're doing now is sin. It's time to repent, folks. Last days is almost here, and you probably say, I, why do you want to see the last days? We can see the last days. If you open your eyes, open the Bible, I read the book of Revelation, you will see it coming. You open your eyes. Open the Bible. Start reading it. The more you read, the more you pray, you will see that this Bible doesn't lie. It's always, it's, it's coming true. If you believe what's going on today, and when you open your Bible, it open your eyes. If you open your eyes and read the Bible, read the Book of Revelation, you don't see what's inside the Bible, but but you also can see. Oh, he talks about oh the Book of Revelation. Tell us about. Wars. It talk about all these wars that still go take place. Oh, I see wars. It's been such a war. All this rumors of wars. <coughs> all you have to do is but all you have to do is open your eyes and open the Bible. That's all up there. The Bible says, why are you so heavy on this? Why are you keep saying, open your eyes and open your Bible? Because you always know by watching the news about what's going on today. <coughs> you know what's going on today, it's time. All you have to do is just fork out. Is all this going on? Is in the Bible? Does the Bible knows before him do God did God try to warn us what will go happen today? We open your Bible up and you see. 
Open your eyes and you can see. Open your eyes and read the Bible. And then you will see. You might not be able to believe without seeing, right? But this man who was blind believed by faith that Jesus can heal him. And he did. Jesus healed him in a remarkable way. Come to put his put dirt and what in his own spit on this man's eyes and time to wash it off in the pool of sand. <coughs> this man had faith enough to be believe on Jesus. You went to the pool, wash it off, and all of a sudden, his eyes were open, and he able to see trees. He able to see things that he never have seen before. Wow! Blindness. Blindness is over, and now he could see the beauty. Of the creation that he be made. All of a sudden, people start asking him how he able to see. He he go out to people, and all of a sudden, people start talking. I I see Percy want to know. They take that. They take that. Kid in, send that man in into the table and talk to him. And he said the same thing he said to the crowds that I received outside. I don't even know the man. I did this. I don't know if he's a sinner or not. But he had healed me. And he said in a remarkable way that he, he said in a remarkable way that this man can't do nothing if he says a sinner. But if my eyes can open I can see that he is of God. Just mouth of that. Because of just because if if it's just a man of his oath that means still able to still be blind. So it has been coming from God, right? Because only God can open the eyes. Because he never can if he open eyes. He can, he, he can try, but he can't open them all the way for people to see. So he just open the eyes and, and make them see. This is my thought. I will end here and then right now. It's important for you to believe on Jesus Christ. And knowing that he has suffered and died on the cross for you sin. He has washed your eyes with blood. It's up to you to open your eyes. Put your eyes upon him. Read his scriptures. And believe. Thank you for the time. Bye.